Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to factory reset and erase everything on your iPhone 14 Pro. Now, if you're going to do this method of factory reset, it will delete everything like your photos, videos, contacts, all the information you ever had, and bring it back to the original factory setting where the default apps are the only apps available after you set it up. Now, before you proceed to doing this, because it will delete all of your data, you want to back it up. So there's a couple of ways to back up your device. First method is probably going to be through your actual Apple ID. You can go ahead and go here and go to iCloud. If you're using iCloud and then you see here, there's the ability to do iCloud backup. Make sure you click on that and then hit that backup now and it'll back up your Apple device on iCloud if you have enough storage on your iCloud account. Other way to back it up is connect it to your computer and then through the iTunes or the Finder app. If you have a newer MacBook, it will be Finder. If you have an older one, you'll download iTunes or if you have another PC, you'll use iTunes. That's very important before you even proceed doing a factory reset because it will delete everything. It's sort of the first thing you want to do. After you have done that, we're ready to go ahead and to do a actual factory reset. First thing I like to do before doing it is actually you have to make sure you're signed out of your Apple account. The reason why you need to do that is because it's a security measure that someone can't just erase your phone if they stole it from you or took it away from you if it's not there. That's why you need to first go ahead and sign out to verify that this is your phone. So that Apple ID, again, you want to go to settings, click on your name up here, then go all the way at the bottom here, hit the sign out option. You need to enter the password of your Apple ID. So we'll enter our password. And once we enter our password, if you have two factor on, which most devices have, you'll have to turn it off. It will give you sign up of whatever you want to keep a copy of. You're going to hit that sign out. You'll have this off. Click on that sign out option. It will start doing the signing out. And as you can see, sometimes it will require you to do a verification of a code that will be sent to your phone number or so if you have two-factor, as we mentioned. And once you see this, this means your account is signed out, which is the very first thing. After you've done that, you want to go now, again, in settings. You want to go to general and then all the way down here. And you'll see this option for transfer or reset iPhone. You want to click on that. If you click on that, we'll click on this bottom option, erase all content and settings. I'm going to click on that and then it'll say how much is going to be erased again remember if you continue this make sure you have a backup because once you do this you cannot be undone again that's a fair warning to you guys doing this factory reset so you hit continue and then finally you'll see there's the message one more time which saying all media content and settings will be deleted and can be undone which we'll be doing we'll go ahead and as you can see apple logo appears and depending on how much stuff you had on your phone, this method could take from somewhere from a few minutes to 10, 15 minutes. Again, it all depends how much information was saved on your phone because it needs to go through and delete everything from your photos, videos, apps, and much more. But however, if you backed it up on iCloud or on your computer, you can restore back as well and get everything back. So this is the method you would do basically whenever you are giving away your phone, trading it in or selling it. So this gives the next person the ability to use a fresh phone where they can use it with their Apple ID and do whatever they want and none of your information will be there again. This is pretty secure and this is how Apple recommends doing a factory reset to remove all of your information from your iPhone as well. So as you see here, it's going through the process. Like I said, this process itself again all depends on how much space you had sometimes this can take some time recommend another thing to recommend for you guys if you're doing this is make sure your phone does have good charge you don't want to do a factory reset when your phone has a couple percent of charge because it might just die down in the middle of it and not complete the process and you don't want to give it away or trade it or pretty much give it you know, because you're not sure you want to really wait it out to make sure this actually is done fully before you do anything else. Again, as you can see here, loading. Once this happens, you'll get to the screen with Apple logo. And once you see this, this indicates that you have done successfully factory reset your phone. You can click on that. As you can see, 
when you get to this menu, this is the menu that you get when you initially set up the phone for the very first time. So that's how you know you successfully have done a factory reset on the iPhone 14 Pro or any of the newer iPhones with iOS 16 and later. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys uh, next time.